Greetings, gentlemen. My name is Robert Casillo. Uh, my partners are Eddie Coloma and Daniel Perdomo, who's holding the camera right now. Today, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the physics of bowling. You might ask, well, what does physics have to do with bowling? But physics has everything to do with bowling. Physics has everything to do with everything. Right, Susan? Right. All right. So, bowling. Bowling has a number of, of, of physics laws going on. And you have all of Newton's three laws, and then you have laws of potential energy, kinetic energy, and force. Um, let's talk about Newton's second law for a second here. Force equals mass times acceleration. Let's say you're using an eight pound bowling ball, that would be your mass. And depending on how hard you throw it, that's how your acceleration is. So when you multiply your force and your mass, I mean, your mass and your acceleration, that's when you get your force. That's how hard you're throwing the ball down the alley. Um, and the way you get that force, is through potential energy turning into kinetic energy. For example, when you when you wind up to throw your bowling ball right here, all that all the energy in the bowling ball is potential energy. And when you shoot it down the lane, as soon as you let go of the ball, all that potential energy turns into kinetic energy. To make it a little easier, I'm gonna draw you a little diagram right here. Here would be your axis of rotation, right? Okay, this would be going to the ground. This is the ground right here. When you wind up to throw your bowling ball right here. You're full of potential energy, so you have po energy, right? Potential energy, all in your bowling ball. And then when you swing your arm down and send that bowling ball down the lane, right about here, all that potential energy turns into kinetic energy. You have that cannon. Right? And what happens with those energies, you may ask? Well, let me show you. There are four or five forces that are applied to a bowling ball when you throw it down the lane. Alright, so here's your bowling ball. And your applied force, that potential energy turns into kinetic energy, is shooting down this way, down the lane to your pins. Okay? So that's your force applied. Like anything else that you throw or drop, it's going to go straight to the ground because of gravity. So you have gravity acting upon your ball force of gravity, and anything that's on a surface is going to have normal force, the surface pushing against that, and then there's your normal force, right? Force of normal. Right, once your bowling ball hits the lane, once your bowling ball hits the lane, friction from the floor is going to act on your bowling ball, slowing it down. So here's your force of friction. So the whole time your bowling ball is going towards your pins, it's decelerating because of friction. All right, so depending on how fast you throw your bowling ball, the force applied will outweigh the force of friction. So your bowling ball goes down the lane, bang bang, hits your pins, right? All the force in your bowling ball is transferred to the pins, sending it in all different directions, hopefully getting it struck. So there you can see how, how physics is a part of bowling and a part of everything. You see how all these forces mean something. They all shoot into your pins and send your pins bang bang in different directions. Newton's first law says, an object that rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion. When you're holding your bowling ball, it's at rest. It's going to stay at rest. When you let go and you use all that energy, it's going to stay in motion until something acts upon it um, and slows it down, an unbalanced force. That's your friction. Here, right here. Force friction. Amen. Slowing down your bowling ball. Then you got the second one we already talked about, Newton's third law. Um, when a first body exerts a force, on a second body, the second body simultaneously exerts the force. We talked about that. When the bowling ball hits the pins, it exerts its force on them. Bang, bang. Newton's third law. Well, that's our presentation for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Physics, bowling, physics, everything. Zulu Nation, we out.